Hi, I'm John Orlando, and we're going to talk about how a teacher can record a video using Pawtoons. Now, from the home page here, you'd start by going to Create a New Project. And that's going to take you to this section where it gives you a variety of templates. Notice that there are templates related specifically to education, and you can use these if you'd like. Note also some of them require the Pro account. Now I'm going to go and just start with a blank template. I'll come up here, and I'll just click it, and I'll click Edit. Now here you see it gives you a blank white template, but it also gives you some stuff on it, some text. You can just get rid of those. I'll just click it and hit Delete. Now one thing you can't get rid of with the free account is the Pawtoons emblem here. So that's something that might lead you to pay for a premium account. But we're going to leave that for now. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add a background color. You can do that by coming up here and click the background color picker. It'll just give you a solid color. Or you can come up here to the right and choose a background style. And you see they have a variety of styles here. Again, including teaching themed styles. They also have images you can use. But I'm going to just choose a plain style. Here we're going to go with something they call abstract because it's actually two colors. I'll just choose the yellow. Now another thing I'll make sure to do is have it in movie mode. It can also be in slideshow mode, but you want it in movie mode so it will play from start to finish for each of the slides. Now you're going to have to make this as separate slides because each slide can only hold 20 seconds of content. So if your video is 2 minutes long, you'll need 6 slides. But in movie mode, they'll simply play seamlessly from one to the next. Now I'm going to come down here and click Timeline. And that's going to show you everything that you put onto the slide. Notice it defaults to 10 seconds. I'm going to run that up to 20 seconds, the maximum. That just gives me the most amount of time to add stuff to the slide. The other thing I'm going to do is add more slides. Now, you can simply click Add New Slide, and it will. The only thing is that if you want to extend the slides to 20 seconds, you will have to extend it for each slide. The other option is to simply come here and click Duplicate Slide. The advantage there is that notice it's already 20 seconds if you've already extended it. And what I tend to like to do is if my video is going to be, say, two minutes long, so I know I need six slides, I'll tend to make as many slides as I need right at the beginning so I don't have to worry about making them as I go along. I'm going to come up to the first one, and now I'm going to add my voiceover. Now we'll go to the sound button here. You notice you can record or upload. Now for some reason the upload was giving me a problem because while I was uploading it, it wasn't playing the narration across slides and I can't explain why. But it does work if you go to voiceover track. So let's go to voiceover track and notice you have a voiceover or a music track. You can even do both. and You can pick music that will play on top of your voice. I'm not going to do that, but you can give it a try, see what you think. I'm going to click import file and I have an audio recording already. And I'm going to click apply. And by the way, even though systems like this allow you to record on site, I tend to like to record with Audacity ahead of time because that allows me to edit it in certain ways that most systems don't allow you to. Now I'll start by putting a little text on this first slide. We'll go text. You notice there are title options. I'll just click one of those. Here it is. I'll give it a title, and because it ran too long, I'll have to extend this box out a bit. I can also make it a little bigger if I want. And then for the subtitle, I'll just put my name down. Because I've added an object, I can determine how that object will appear and when it will appear. If I click it, you come down here, you notice that at the bottom of this timeline, it now lists that object. It's got a couple pieces of text, and it's got a couple lines. Now it groups them all together in this case, which is convenient, so I don't have to do them separately. If I click this box, it's going to tell me how it comes in and comes out. So I'm going to click Pop, just so it pops in. And you're going to notice that I can go No Effects, so it just shows up immediately. And I can make it a Hand Effect. So we'll leave it at that. 
Now I've got the narration. Now what I'd like to do is just continue along listening to the narration and then adding imagery where it makes sense. So I'm going to start playing. I have a confession to make. I was wrong. So I have a little bit of sound at the beginning. I'm going to click here. And I decided that I wanted to end, say, right about here. So I'm going to drag this side back. And I'm going to decide I want it to, say, pop out as well. Now at this point, I want to add a new image at 5 seconds. I come over to Images. I click that. Now I can upload images, which I've already done. And once I upload my images, I can go to My Image. So I come here to My Images. I'm going to click this image. I'm going to insert it. Now here, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to have it come in from the left. And this time, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to use the hand. So you're going to see the hand. So let's go back a little bit and see how this looks. I was wrong. I was wrong. You see, when I left graduate school, notice that the hand brought it in. It was kind of a nice effect. We'll keep going. To become a professor, I thought that teaching was lecturing. After all, that's how my mentors taught. I remember one in particular who would slowly pace back and forth across the stage with his hands behind his back, looking down. Only now notice we've gone to the next slide and the image went away because we simply went to a new blank slide. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back up to slide number one. I'm going to come down here. And this time I'm going to clone the objects to the next slide. So now you're going to see that image came across. I can continue playing. Only to extend one arm to touch. Now it disappeared at this point, so I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to decide, say, I want it to continue here. And I'll make it go out to the right, and I'll make it go out with the hand. So let's see what that takes a look at. Extend one arm to touch the wall before turning around to pace back. That would. Again, I can continue with this. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I want to show you how to add little animated characters. So I've got one image leaving at 4 seconds. I'm going to go to 5 seconds, and I'm going to come to Library. Now here you have a bunch of images. Go to More. And here you have People. So I'm just going to pick one person here. This, uh, we'll pick this person. And we'll put her up here. Notice I can change my character's pose. Right now, this character is waving, but I can make the character thinking, angry, whatever. Let me add one more character. It'll be this boy here. So I'll bring him in. This time, I'm going to change him to sad. And I can make him bigger, smaller. I'll make him about this size. And I can flip his direction so he's facing the other character. In this case, I'm going to make these characters just pop in. So I'll do the same with this character right here. And let's see how that looks. The wall before turning around to pace back. That was my model of a teacher. But I... And there you go. And you can keep adding characters. You can keep adding images and things like that. Then once you're done, you can export it. Now you're going to be limited on the free account on what you can do with the exports. Another option is to play it in preview mode up here and then simply do a screencast recording of the preview, making sure to pick up your computer audio. That's basically just the way to get started. I really like this system. It's similar to VideoScribe. I think they uh, have slightly different features, slightly different characters. But it's worth giving a try. Thanks.